Play, I would like to Braum a lot more. Poppy's a similar vein. Yes! And it's just Tarek! <laughs> just... Woo! Play here, but everybody's level 5. So there. Sylvie making sure that they actually get it. I don't think they can actually make it here in time, though. Might be able to fight afterwards, but... Oh, the flash out of the Leona here. Barrel with the killer instinct on the Tarek. Not even the right champ as Guger now flashing away, and Depth is just going to get in there and try to collect first blood, but now immediate cleanse. Depth is struggling, but he does get the first blood and immediately does get traded back, but still 400 gold does go to the pockets of Depth. But, but it's good. <laughs> just die. It's a good death. Chronicler 2024. It's a good death. Uh-huh. Depth is fine. A little jump scare here for the crowd who's going crazy. Uh, guys. And, and Fisher just back, so um, yeah, no, he, he's fine. But the, the rest of the guys down here on the bottom side, not very fine. Way too deep to try to get Deft or he something. He doesn't have that much mana. This uh -oh. could be a good angle. Yeah, BDD is actually in a lot of trouble here. He does have the flash, but he is going to get a very nice shockwave. It just dodges the follow-up from the Leona. He's totally fine, actually. And now the Tarek ultimate coming on in. You're not doing any damage to that as the timing very nice here from Barrel waits until they absolutely need it. And then the turn comes in. Another kill under the belt of KT. BDD didn't even have to flash. He just oh. walked it off. Uh, Maya shows up, but they don't... I think there's yeah. really an angle here. As the ward will cancel Goober's back. And I hope we get a replay of that. Especially from ahead. It's it's definitely it definitely feels like a win more kind of situation in this one, as uh, we do have the Sejuani being fully in, engaged on, and now the Yone gets the full turn as the Tarek ultimate comes through, but you're already so low and the TPs are raining down from both sides. Perfect. Trying to frontline, and now the Ezreal and the Aatrox have an angle here as BDD and Perfect desperate to try to get some kind of kill. Finally, the all-out comes out onto the Aatrox, the one guy who was not low enough for Perfect to kill. As now it looks like he's just going to try to run out of this one. Might be able to as the flash comes in. Jiu does not want to put an end to this one. Gets the flash, and now the turn comes out as Barrel is going to go down. And Dev trying to frontline here, and Jiu doesn't have enough damage through the barrier as KT baited into sticking around so that Mahail can get more hits into them. As he the wants e? to get one more. Woo! He's going to have a chance here on a Dev, who is going to get knocked up, and eventually does get taken down. No Shim chased them forever and turn the fight in their favor. Oh. Somehow Pyoshik is going to get the Rift Herald. I guess it's in trade for this dragon here. Gnome Shim wanting to stack up those Hextech Drakes early, which does make sense, but KT are getting a lot of gold to immediately come back in the game now. So one Drake to go to Gnome Shim, but KT sticking around in terms of gold parity. Second game for me out. And he traps. Yeah, uh, this one. Uh, Fisher is going wow. to just unbound soul as now we do have it coming out. And the stun as now Piosik is going to go in. And there's that offensive nature. He goes in, but there's so many members of Nongshin still here. As the Sejuani ultimate comes in and the Yone is dragged out of position, but they still get the Cassante down. As Barrel going to have to walk on an awkward angle here in a bit of trouble himself. And they have to use the Fates Call as well, as now he's going to throw himself back in. They get the kill, and a chance for Death to extend this, and Barrel is still alive on the backside of this fight somehow. Pyoshik doing Krugs is like, wait, we're still fighting? And he's back. And now we have the flash in here from the side of BDD, still on the chase is the entire team. Is Pyoshik just going to smite him down for the kill? And now this is the perfect Callista moment. Everybody's super low. They're all running away from you. And Deft is able to pick up a final kill. Oh, and now ill-advised Baron. That uh, that that ended up not bad backfiring, but it was a little scary there, Valdez. Oh, a nice side step here from BDD. Also going to miss that one, but he can't get out of the Yona ult. That's going to do the trick. As everybody and the kitchen sink gets thrown into BDD, and they do take him out. No, I'm sure it's like C champion. Kill champion. Missing ult? Doesn't. Oh, God, now it's them. Well, Piyoshi gets the back, but he can get it very, very quickly. I don't think that they're gonna. They're, they, they might get it, but it's gonna be a flip. Piyoshi's gonna make his way over. Oh, they wanna engage out of the Tarek, but it's Fate's call to come through, and perfect TP's into this one. So they do get the TP. Will they continue on the Baron? It looks like, yes, they will. Oh, it's a flip. It's a flip, Valvas! It's just a flip. 
It's just a straight up flip. Okay, they're gonna stop damage. Stopping damage. Waiting to take the fight. The Tarek ultimate used expertly. The timing is fantastic as now they're putting in the damage but the spike goes to Sejuani. She'll need to get it down in the flip. And it should go all the way on Ohm Sim, even perfect. Not gonna take out Jiwoo here. And it's BDD to do it, but it's still Gnome Shim that wins. Uh, I think Gnome Shim is looking good. The main question is, can they turn this into no one getting caught inside and actually getting the next dragon? Because it's Gnome Shim, and, and, and I'm a little scared that someone's just going to get caught and die. And I don't want that to happen. I want to go the full distance. Well, this yeah. called it. There we go. They're going to get on top of Fisher here as the CC chain comes in perfectly. But he is able to flash and get out. So not so perfect after all. Here. But, and KT, you do have the option to just drop this as well. Let's see what they want to go for as the sun goes in. But that's Leona as uh, Trisha Barrage gets it. And that's the angle from Fisher. Pretty huge. And now Deft in the front line. Speed flashed on. But the Tarek ultimate timing is very good. He is going to stay live. And the Yone ultimate in the front line. A huge shockwave from BDD. Might just get the trick done. As now you've got perfect. Finally able to front line. Down will go Barrel. But he is nothing compared to perfect on Kasante. Jiwoo still alive. Can they get Warmogs? Still trying to kite this one out, but he is going to avoid the knockup here, but BDD just does way too much damage at this point in time. The follow-up comes in from KT, and that should be, you would imagine, the Hextech soul to KT. Oh, Nongshim. They get so close to killing that, but I think they were in a great position if they played that slower, wait out the ultimate, and leave it be. Oh, Sylvie, he's trying, but yeah, I think Perfect. He's the guard. Standing there. Oh, Sylvie, you gotta try, you gotta try, you gotta try, you gotta try! Just queue in! Uh, nope, gonna, no. too late. He doesn't have flash, so he does die. Just um, use, the, use the power of that. Don't <laughs> unnecessarily flip it. Flip it! It's KT. challengers, baby! Don't it's fine. do it, KT! No, it's fine. It's oh, challengers, they're gonna, baby. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna. We know it's happening. Everybody is taking oh, damage God. right now. Oh no! Sitting there, the Tarek ultimate though once again is huge and the front line from Fisher this time is just not good. And now they're able to turn onto the Baron, an easy smite for Pyoshik. And now 5v4, they are running at them, the Hextech Soul helping out quite a lot. Jiu once again trying to be the one guy holding this team together. But uh, I don't think he's quite able to do so as waiting, waiting, Jiu has to flash away already. And BDD just waiting with that ball for a potential shockwave at this point in time. Didn't have to use it onto Fisher, And that's going to be the turret, the first one in mid to go down. KT able to get the... And this is where you see those longer... It's Ezreal. I mean, yeah, he, he does do a lot of damage just in general. Like AoE damage, damage in team fights, he's spamming a lot. But unfortunately, it's, it's not quite enough to get the team across the line. Or Jiu, who's having a... A good game, but not able to carry at this point in time. So the push coming in from the bottom side. We got a flank war. Left on Baron. KT really won the mid lane as well. Yeah, mid and bot would be huge. As you mentioned, it, top would be best, but ooh, nice stun actually. Death gonna jump back into it. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he is <laughs> still as uh, clamp. Well, as long as he can kill the supers, I guess they're fine. I yeah. think KT just pulled the trigger on this now, like really go in on this aggressively. The second the True Shot Barrage sailed past, they started it. And now TP used by Fisher here and now by Mahal, but it's a little bit late. I mean, this Elder, it's already so low and they don't Run. have any vision and it's just gone. They just take the Elder Drink away from Nongshim. And now the Tarek is going to help out excellently here. Pyoshin gets pretty low, but he is the only one. BDD as well, actually being hounded by two, but this game is over. The Elder goes to KT as we have a triple kill actually going the way of Pyoshik as well. And we are going to have a 2-0 here from KT over Nongshim tonight. Oh. And KT fans, I'm sure at no point in that game felt any form of stress for Nongshim. You can see that's a rough loss. That game felt like it might have been in their grasp and it just wasn't to be KT. They got the Dragon, they got the Baron, they got the Elder. I'm going to get the 2-0 here. Happy faces as KT continue their redemption arc. <laughs> Come on, KT. All right. They're lining up. Nicely done. Good picture there at the end. Excellent.